Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar. We will look at a question geometry. So first of all, give a try and then look at the solution. The question goes like this. If three sides of a rectangular park have a total length of 400 feet, then the area of the park is maximum when the length of its longer side happens to be how much? Now let's look at a couple of ways to solve this particular sum. I will not call this particular sum to be of geometry, but I would say it's more to do with algebra over here because we have to maximize the area over here. So suppose if I say we have a rectangle, let's say we have dimension x and y. Now what is 400? I don't know, it could be a 2x plus y, it could be a 2y plus x, doesn't really matter since I don't know whether x is more or y is more over here. So what we can do is suppose if I say from the data which is given to us, 2x plus y happens to be 400. This is given to us. The objective is to maximize the area. First of all, what is the area of a rectangle? It happens to be nothing but length into breadth. In this particular case, once it has to be nothing but the product of x into y. So what I will do is, let's find out the value of x and y, which maximize the area of the rectangle and then put the answer basically as a longer or bigger of the two values, which is going to be between x and y. I don't know which is the value bigger. So if I want to maximize, let's say the area and we have got x into y over here, what I will do is let's substitute the value of y in terms of x. So y becomes equals to a 400 minus 2x. So this particular part become 400x minus 2x square. So one can now see a quadratic and then basically one can use some formula which are known to you that the maxima or minima for a quadratic expression happens to be at the point of minus b divided by 2a. If I look at the quadratic over here, my coefficient of x square or a happens to be a minus 2. The coefficient of let's say x happens to be nothing but 400 or one can say the value of b happens to be a 400 and the constant term here happens to be nothing but equals to 0. Now what does this mean? If I look at the point, so the area will be maximum for x equals to minus b by 2a and this should be equals to a minus of 400 upon 2a. 2a happens to be how much? Nothing but a minus 4. So this particular part becomes equals to 100. So if I got the value of x to be equals to 100 and if I put the value of x in terms of y because y was equals to 400 minus 2x, what do we get? We get nothing but 400 minus 200 giving us the value 200. So the value of y becomes 200 and that is the longer side and hence my answer basically has to be nothing but 200 is the length which maximizes the area of the given rectangle over here. Let's look at one more way to solve this particular question and the point basically is that since I want to maximize the area, I want the term x into y to be maximum. Same way if I want the term x into y to be maximum, can I also say that the term 2x into y also is going to be maximum. And then people, we are going to use a very uh, favorite concept, which is AM more than equal to GM basically you know, over, over here. That whenever I get a cons, if I know a particular sum is given to me, and if I want to maximize the product, it's going to happen when the two terms are going to be equal. In other words, if I say if A plus B is equals to 400, and if I want to maximize, suppose the value of A times B, it is going to happen when the two terms are going to be equal over here. So in this particular case, if I want to look at the term 2x plus y equals to 400, and if I want to maximize the term 2x into y over here, then the term 2x and y should be equal. And for them to be equal, I can say my term 2x will be 200. The term y will be 200. It simply means y become 200 and the value of x becomes equals to 100 over here. And between them, if I look at the longer side happened to be nothing but 200 and that's my answer for this particular question. So now if you have understood the concept, kindly solve the replica question and put your answer in the comment section. Happy learning.